Right, we've talked, we've talked about all of this from the uh, female perspective. Mm. Um, Beverly has got in touch <sighs> and she said what, Ruth? Well, she's there, I think, isn't she's she? She's not there, darling. Oh, she's not there. That's Sorry, I, I, I just heard... Sorry, I was going to say, why are you <laughs> asking me? She oh, says... No. She says two days after she got married, her husband told her he had zero sperm, mm -hmm. which yeah. seems shocking to hear two days after yeah. she married. She said they, they, um, he is in a wheelchair. Mm -hmm. um, he says, we are ready to try for a baby, and we wondered what fertility options are out there for us. Yeah. I... I spoke to Beverly earlier and um, and actually it was they as soon as got married they went and did tests and they actually did tests because she had polycystic ovaries so she was concerned about her risk yeah. of, of, of infertility. They are very common these um, polycystic ovaries. They are very yes. common yes. Um, and they actually found out that the they do we do a sperm test and the, the sperm so count they was zero. So they discovered it wasn't that you just waited it wasn't to that tell just, her right yeah. okay. Um, so now they're thinking about going back and looking into into yeah. um, getting pregnant um, and they were a bit upset because they felt that they were a bit fobbed off and yeah. um, they wondered if that's going because he was in a wheelchair. My advice to Beverly is go back and repeat all those tests again. It's been three years and there are a series of options. So if the sperm count is very low, then you should get referred to a fertility expert. Doctors, thank you, thank very, you much very much. Thank you very much.